Do you sometimes feel like you have just walked into a spider web in your face? You feel these feelings and uh, at certain times you feel your back hair rising up and tingling. When you study this issue of the spider web in your face, scientists have got a term they use now, Hutchinson's mask. And they say that is when the sensation in your face feels like it's covered with a mask or a gauze network uh, cobweb uh, like structures we want to look at the sensing body chart and uh, look at these phenomena and uh, occurrences like eyelids twitching upper lip quivering we know that upper lip quivering from our tradition it means it's happiness or you shall eat something that is nice and when it is the lower lip we know that you shall mourn or shout or get into a haranguing with somebody how do you know that you have passed by a place that is evil or where an evil spirit was stationed or a negative energy or a black spot is known when you feel your shoulders just being heavy and the, 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 the that heaviness continues and then stops and you hear your something ringing in your ears what is going on with your body you have to be smart about your body language and body signal billions of people no longer understand their own body signals they are very, very much incapable of sensing any body chart and hence miss its messages, which is vital and essential practice for holistic well-being. How has it come to this point? How have we lost our sensitivity, our mental capacity, emotional and physical and chemical reading using energetic or our social surroundings? How have we lost all that because of a number of factors because we have been taught that you have got no soul you are a soulless entity and that puts our soul to sleep and also the violent entertainment that is in all over the world has made us numb to empathy and love and also the worshiping of violent deities and the gods genocides like uh, the christians that came with all their biblical god of genocide and and, and, and violence and bloodshed and sacrifice billions and billions of animals sacrificed and destroyed and killed this is worshiping violent deities. And then the unnatural desire that has been planted in us for foods that are not natural, that are not connecting us to something that is natural. We have been desensitized through wrong education, wrong understanding, wrong philosophy. But considerable attention today has been given to the development of wearable sensor technologies. And these efforts are devoted to making sure that these wearable devices that monitor our key biomarkers are worn by our cell phones connected to the gps all these smart systems and uh, the human body itself can indeed react in various ways to different stimuli and some people may interpret certain sensations in different man manners here is an interpretation or associated understanding for each of these sensations that you may think of because the human body is sensitive to these conditions in its internal and external environment. The nervous system itself collects data and information and must naturally send it for us to process through the receptors and through our thinking and our spirit. So the human body is an intricate vessel or machine or system that is capable of communicating its needs and warnings and state of being through subtle signals and sensations. The cacophone of modern life diminishes this ability to truly listen and notice what our body is telling us and hear what our body is telling us once this occurs and you fail to, re to read your body you have ceased to exist as a human being you are now a human 2.0 you have been made and you have been man remanufactured or you have been born again to use a christian terminology now those that have crafted you to human 2.0 or being born again to something else or converted from what you were naturally have now the capacity and ability to control your naturalness to prevent this and to block this from uh, occurring we must understand what are the fundamentals some of the fundamentals of what is happening today that is blocked our sensing of body chart and we have to do this and understand this before this has occurred so there's this guy Yuval Noah Harari who spills the beans and said we just don't need the vast majority of the population. He says technology will make it possible to replace the people. 
top world economic forum advisor Yuval Noah Harari has declared in a recent interview that the vast majority of the world's 7.5 billion people are simply no longer needed due to the technological advances in artificial intelligence, machine learning and bioengineering. You can go to this uh, website and read about that. So we are no longer highly sensitive people and we have been driven to accept our demise. Firstly, our bodies are repositories of various and ancient wisdom. Each sensation, each ache, each feeling is a messenger conveying vital information about our physical, emotional and mental states. To learn to decipher these signals allows us to address underlying issues and to combat people like Yuval Harari to prevent them from potentially destroying our naturalness and our future generations. If we are asleep, we will be dead for sure. To be smart on sensing a body chat, you have to master the ability to tune into the body's intuitive signals and to cultivate self-awareness and authenticity. So if you are no longer authentic and you are now using machine and now using gadgetry, you have dis been disempowered as an individual for making informed decisions and navigating your life. Someone will be navigating your life like a GPS system. And your deeper connection to your ancient history is gone and is dead. So as a human being, you have to be aware of your body sense and position in the universe. You have to learn this position through the stars, planets and celestial bodies to determine your position on earth today. The heavenly dimensions like the fifth dimension is where your connectivity mentally must always go and bypass the fourth dimension to be smart on sensing your body chart you need other paraphernalia in your gadgetry and in your weaponry you need to be spatially aware and you can do that by being sensitive to sound waves yes we know from our book free from god that is very difficult for us to hear beyond certain limitations get this book and read a lot of these ideas that are in this book so our ears the inner ear vestibular system helps us to maintain balance spatial orientation and a sense of equilibrium so if that is disturbed by drugs alcohol or misinformation or other forms of illnesses the information that must be provided to the body for its position and movement and acceleration and navigation and coordination will be lost and the systems that are in place like the gps and so forth will be taking care and guiding you to the place where they want to slaughter you for your soul proprioception this is the body's ability to sense its position and motion and spatial orientation through sensory receptors in muscles tendons and joints it helps individuals maintain body awareness and navigate their environment naturally i mean we've got cognitive mapping very very important because as human beings we've got the ability to create mental maps and representations of our surroundings allowing us to navigate familiar aspects and spaces and understand the position within the environment that we live not only on earth but in the cosmos think about that seriously so you see they've invented this gps technology in these days to position you in a system on a global position they want you to be in and also to track you and to know where you are and assist them in determining precisely your geographical location so that they can send signals through their satellite of whatever emotions they want you to feel so we want to be smart about sensing a body chart, a psychological and also philosophical perception, existential awareness that cultivate your own unique capacity for existential reflection, contemplating your place in the universe and pondering questions about your existence, purpose and relationship to the cosmos. This will make you a better person to sense your body chart what is your body saying to you today at this present moment in this instant then philosophical understanding this is much much broader because it's, a philo it's an inquiry that includes ex scientific exploration that contributes to your understanding of the same thing that we are looking at positioning of your body in the universe and delving deeper into cosmology astronomy metaphysical inquiries about your place within the cosmos and this will liberate you from becoming an artificial clone made by others of yourself there are other activities like dancing and martial arts engaging in these activities 
require coordination and attentiveness to your body movements and body parts and this sharpens your sensory perception and improve your proprioception do you know that uh, karate is also ka the living spirit the soul which we are dealing with here and ra the god the light that we have and tear you the physical body so these are arts and martial arts and activities created by our ancestors on earth and now exported or taken over by many many others and they put a label that they are the ones that discovered this which is not very very correct so you need this idea of sensing body chart in this life why is the eye twitching can be due to other real or imagined medical conditions uh, we, it is very important that we understand that in our culture when you had your eyes twitch there was a special little herb that they would cut just like a toothpick and you split it and put it on that eye and spit on it and say a few words and then some things will happen you will start to see some other things because this is deeper than merely a medical condition of course we agree and accept that things like caffeine certain medication lack of sleep dry eyes alcohol smoking stress and anxiety and allergies can do that but we don't want to throw away the baby in the water in our culture we learn it is important that it was signifying something and there is physical action to remedy it the spiritual action to benefit from it because the eyes are the window to your soul they know and they detect these signals because they are the mirror also of your overall health and each part of the eye is connected to your body and those that can study and they know iridiology they know how to read it and they know these signals better than a lot of people that dismiss it sensing a body chart is important and vital if you have mastered this art and knowing possible body signals like certain fast heartbeats is it coming from love or hate or fear skin flashes hot sweating and the muscle tenseness what do you do if this thing's okay suddenly yes you have to know and understand your own body signals inclusive of your soul and connection to the chasm and you would know that a spiritual connection and intuitive connection is to the chasm the spirit to the car the most powerful and the timeless spaceless origin of your soul beyond the chasm and then once you know that because you know that you have you now know that you have got the authority and uh, to deal with this unwanted stimuli or the consequences that are being indicated by this unwanted stimuli so you ask your righteous ancestors to intervene and interfere and give you wisdom pronto to deal with that situation and immediately you change gear you don't stop at asking your ancestors you change gear so fast and they ask the divinities the gods you call them by their name imutepo abgabgerete these are the abgabgerete you call upon them and ask them immediately to intervene and then you utter prayers that's why you should know some of these prayers that are protective and protection prayers like for instance when you repeat this prayer fearlessly without fear great deity imutepo i invoke your power and the name surround me with your shield of protection let no harm or malevolent force come near me by your authority i am safeguarded and defended but it gets much better we have the authority to demand that that evil disappear from the pyramid text we learn that you can say this oh gods of the sky heed my words heed my words i stand righteous and pure by the decree of maati i demand the passage through these celestial gates clear the path for me for i am blameless and i seek entry remove this demon from me by the decree of maati i demand it moves out and i walk clear cleared because i'm blameless and seek entry why because the kingdom of heaven is within me and i know it and i found it that's what you say you are on earth to manifest exercise demand the things from the universe and the choice is yours of course to be timid cowardly or just to order your demands and receive fulfillment it's time now to get up and do it there is no other tomorrow so thank you very much 
your harm manager to people here by LM Dubis Kunikadim Jakanja says yes you've got the authority to receive signals through your body and then to correct and to act accordingly ameni if you want to receive more information about this if you want us to continue on youtube please share this uh, video with as many people as possible we are interested in hearing your comments that's all we want we want to learn we want to also be corrected and be re redirected so leave your comments share subscribe tell as many people as possible because we are going deeper and deeper to liberate every melanin dominant human being who is seeking liberation or who wants to be stabilized and who wants to continue fearlessly in this life during this time of very very hard challenges left right up down and center ameni